You know, the thing that bugs me that not a lot of people like realize or think about. That's my woman and my is, kid. Um, in case anyone's wondering. That we are all basically on a fucking flying organic spaceship. There's the kid like, in the chat. Oh, we're gonna get like a today, bunch of man, I didn't smoke. That, I can't get that's... into these conversations. That's that's gonna fuck with me hard, dude. You you, you <laughs> any anybody listen I mean, to Joe Rogan? Yeah, I I I fuck with Joe Rogan. You ever you I, ever I tried shrooms because of him as oh, well, and dude. I got into psychedelics and all that kind of. You stuff. ever like listen like I'll I would sit in there and work for like eight to ten hours a day, and I'd have headphones on, and I'd just listen to just listening to them. Yeah. So I would like hit one where he's talking about like the with like a geologist or somebody from space, and I would purposely not listen to that one till after lunch yeah just to make sure you pay attention to oh my god just make sure yeah, your I brain to is the in another bob mode lazar one. yeah bob lazar, yeah that crazy. one i don't think i don't think that guy was bullshit he's, he's not he's not i don't know if, i don't know if our government knows anything about it but he's not bullshit they have all types of shit they're working on that they found well i'm uh, i'm gonna wait for scrub to get back before i tell him, uh one of my stories of uh, a ufo that i saw when i was younger um but basically, uh, my dad was talking to his friend, and I was talking to my neighbor. Here, he's back. All right, I'll, I'll be able to explain it a little bit better. All right, yeah. Scrub, now that you're I'm back, I'll be able to explain. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm about to explain one of my UFO encounters. Um, I'm ready. With... Okay. I um, see some weird shit too, but. Like, this shit almost gave me a heart attack when, when I was younger. Like, this shit made my, my fucking heart... Um... Just like, drop. like, feel weird. It, it, like, yeah, it made it feel weird. It was the first time I ever felt something like that on my heart. But I was like 12, 13, and I remember speaking to my friend. And um, basically, my friend would be, let's say, the 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 camera, right, facing me this way. Yeah, fuck. And I was facing that way. Blur that out, Stephen, please. Yeah, yeah. Let's say I'm facing that way, right? And my dad is off about, um, like. Uh, I want to say about four or five car lengths over like that way, right? To my right with his friend. His friend is facing the same way that I'm facing. My dad is facing the way that my friend is facing, facing towards me. I immediately, uh, when I'm talking to him, I see like a glowing white ball, like going behind the trees, right? And I immediately start going like, hey, turn around, look, 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 look. And so does my dad's friend. And as soon as they turn around, the thing goes behind the trees and just disappears, right? And it left a white and glowing mist, but they never saw it. And um, but what made me they realize that I wasn't like tripping or being weird was that like my dad's friend, an adult, like in his forties, was freaking out, you know, mm-hmm. saying the yeah. same thing. He's like, "Hey, look, 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 look!" And Something like that wild. shit just left a wild white like mist behind it. After it went beyond the trees, it just like vanished. I don't know if it was something like um, a natural phenomenon or something, like something extremely rare. But that shit was in orb and it started like moving to the fucking behind the tree. What was it when I was living in Arizona? When I turned 18, I moved out west. And I remember I had a couple of nights where I'm hanging out with my brother in the backyard. He's drinking, we're chilling, whatever, bullshit. And we'll see, because we're in the desert in Arizona. And it's so dark because there's no lights absolutely anywhere. And I remember there were a few nights where you just see orb like an orb in the sky and it's fucking just going going and then it cuts back this way yeah and, have you... and then it goes this way really fast and it's... yeah and it's gone and you're like what the fuck like I... yeah and you sit there and you're wondering like is that a fucking <laughs> meteor or is that a fucking star like what the well, fuck was that the, the thing that caught my attention like the first couple of times is like occasionally the movement it way, and then it'll cut back the other way like, yeah it's... see there's a lot of uh, Na- nasa Weird. footage where they 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 have fucking um objects like that unknown objects on their on their stream like on their live stream their nasa live stream moving back and forth like that in odd fucking directions like it has a mind of its own and as soon as they get objects like those they cut the life feed into a different shot or something you know they don't fucking show those things and they they have (laughs) no and they they have videos of where they they have like uh little clips on where right before they cut them you know and they it looks so fucking odd dude it just, it just seems right. like, it just seems like there's a lot of traffic I mean, up there that there's I mean, just impossible to see. Here's, you know? thing, here's my biggest thing. I've heard people tell me, "Oh, aliens aren't real." I'm like, no, there's that no is way. extremely they, impossible. That's, that's, that's absolutely impossible. That's no, mathematically impossible. impossible. The, size, the size of the universe, number one, it's mm-hmm. infinite. 
Yep. Yeah, like here's the here's the crazy thing about infinite. There's infinitely Ever small and infin in infinitely big. So yeah, yeah. Infinitely small, so small that they're smaller than like small. Uh, like like uh, who <laughs> who hears a who or something like that? Have you seen that movie? Horton hears a who. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, like exactly like that. But like, here's the biggest thing. It's like. If, if it's ever expanding and it's infinite, that means life is also infinite. There are infinites in every direction. So here's so the thought I've planet, had. If life is infinitely in other planets, that in an infinite amount of planets, in an infinite universe, infinitely growing. Well, I mean, that's what I've told my wife before, too. I'm not, <laughs> do you see the life that is here on this planet? I mean, imagine a jellyfish. Yeah, have you seen those jellyfishes that glow in rainbows with the lights and shit? I mean, if that's possible here... There's fucking imagine cats with uh, yellow eyes. Imagine what's possible in other planets where There's life is possible. Horse dick. Think about this. Yeah. <laughs> Think about this. So you ever see pictures of how the universe resembles like the iris of your eye, or mm -hmm. how? Um, yeah, you seen galaxies or the universe? The galaxies. galaxies. So then, yeah. then like certain things resemble like DNA and atoms. Have you ever thought about the fact that possibly we are just on a atom? That like the scale of the universe, literally well, like mean, yeah, that's what we that's, are that's just a saying, like, virus really, on the atom that lives with yeah. it. Yeah, that's what he's saying. He's basically saying, saying that there's universes both big and small. Like there, there could be a universe. We could just be an atom in a giant's skin. foot. Yeah. Just think, just think about men in black galaxy. shit. Just think about a galaxy. How big that actually is compared to us. Now think about how small it is compared to the rest of the universe. That's smaller than our planet. And here we are playing video games. Here we, are. <laughs> here, here we are in a small section of in a small solar system in our galaxy and on a small ass planet in video games yeah that's that's wild. that's the whole fucked up thing dude it's wild and i told my wife when we were hotboxing like it feels like if when we're hotboxing we would hotbox the bathroom and i told her it like it feels like we're in this fucking room and there's just, like there's nothing else outside it feels like this room is our spaceship and outside it just feels like nothing and it makes you question like what the fuck are we you know what is our purpose in this universe like we are literally a fucking rock an organic spaceship just floating through fucking space just experience like basically just Busting experience us. a roller coaster for a short short amount of time when you when you think about it i remember reading an article that earth is basically the perfect amount of space away from the sun where life the gets like so like, Though, like and, if, there, if it was one like point one percent in mm -hmm. either direction, we wouldn't be able to live. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a meteor brought water to the earth. Yeah. What so if when you with, when you think the water about brought it, life? When you think about it, there's no way that could not happen anywhere else. When you think about how big the universe is, yeah, you know, yeah exactly. Well, like, what are the odds that we are the only special exactly. shit? Like, on the I mean, there's this one theory that Joe Rogan did touch on. Like, maybe we are the ones that have passed the great filter first. Maybe we are the first advanced civilization in the universe currently. That is possible. But time is uh, relevant, mm -hmm. uh, meaning that, like, time could be, like, being experienced at a different pace in a different part of the universe. Yeah, so, therefore... It's only where your rotation is of your sun. And exactly. Your sun so, right. therefore, like... We could have been the first ones from the Great Filter, but like due to like our time slippage and shit, there's could there there should be other civilizations at least similar to us, you know. That if there was one that started just and... slightly longer than us, a million years before, like yeah. where do you think I we mean, are in a million? Not even years? a million years. Not even a million years. A million you, you years know, like, is nothing, years? though. Yeah, yeah, like, but yeah, like, say, universes. like, give it a thousand years of uh before look, us. Look at what we've done in the past you know? three hundred years it? alone. Just three hundred years, dude. That is not long. That's nothing. Three hundred years is all it took for us to go from nothing to what we are now. You know, you know, a million years in the in the lifespan of the universe is less than a second. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is what we are living right now. The technology we have. The ability to have your lights turn Still on. Imagine, imagine and a thousand years. Think about where we were 150 years ago. That's what I'm saying. There were there was hardly any lights. We were still. No we were just finding that. We out. used we candles for lights cars. back then. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. What was that? Yeah. 1870s? Yeah, the 1870s. Like crazy shit. We just got out of the Civil War. Well, I mean, that was in the 1860s. What what throws me off is because I seen this movie that like really put like offset me like in a way that like it's it's a foreign movie so it's like um, 
really uh, graphic and like very disturbing in the way. Mm -hmm. But basically, like what happens is like um... porno is very graphic and disturbing. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, there's a lot of like it disturbs me that I like the like things that. I but like. like um, in the in the movie, basically, so got no legs? they have uh, spaceship cruise ships. Okay. Wally. So what happens in this spaceship cruise ship? Like they're going <laughs> towards Mars and they're gonna make a loop around Mars and come back to Earth. What happens is that there's a malfunction with their system and they they cannot steer the ship anymore. So they're stuck like drifting. Their thrusters are fucked. They're fucked, yeah. So like they're yeah. stuck adrifting in space. So like the first couple of months, like yeah, it's great. Everyone's partying, having orgies, doing whatever they can, you know. And then like years by go by, and these two lesbians, which are the main protagonists in the movie, of course, it's um, lesbians. <laughs> yeah, I mean like um, one of them gets pregnant from one of the orgies, right? But, like, that one is depressed because she knows that there's, like, they, they told him, it's like, oh, it'll be two months before we can get the issue fixed. It's been two years, you know? They've been drifting to space for two years, and all they got you're to eat is home. algae. Hey, you're not getting home. You're not getting home. And then they realize that, and then, like, the, the, the mother, the one that birthed the child, like, gets depressed, uh, ends up hanging herself and killing the kid. Damn. Like, and, rough like, movie. and, like... What the fuck is wrong? It's a rough fucking movie. But, like, um... The lady goes into the room. She finds the person hanged, and she tries to save her life and whatnot. But like, it's all quiet. Like, you know how movies they have music, like suspenseful music and shit like mm -hmm. this. This is like if you're watching, like if you're sitting in the in the room just watching her react, it's and it's it's fucked. Yeah. And then she goes into the room and finds the kid, and her scream is horrible. So then it cuts to five years later, right? And then five years later, she was a scientist in the ship. She's getting a reward, and there's like um. Wait, did they live? Yeah, there's a few people. They're they're living off of algae, basically. What, no, but did they get back to the Earth or no? No. I was gonna say that would be impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not impossible. They're not. They're they've been drifting for five years. They don't have the supplies. They don't have the fuel. They don't have the the the, the necessary means to get back. If anything, they're just gonna. Yeah. Hit a so basically, they're just bullshitting it off, bullshitting it off for a while. Like she's getting awards and shit like that. And you see the people like basically getting skinnier over time. Yeah. Dude, it cuts off. It cuts to 25 years later, right? They're in pitch darkness, sitting in a circle, blind. Yeah. Like there's they're they're like speaking in 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 like um tongues that, not tongues but they're like speaking in in like um wisdom I guess. They're like oh I was once blinded by a god and now like all I see is darkness and then they, they meant the sun. And it just makes you like at when they say that it's just like damn like makes you appreciate the sun and where you are at the at the spot. Hmm. All right. Now cut to five million years later. This is towards the end of the movie, right? There's this five, five or 50, 50 million years later or something like that. The spaceship is completely dark. The movie is just like going in dark, uh, in silence. And all you see is just like a jaw floating around in space. And they're finally reaching another Earth next to a star. Yeah. And like that shit's just like, took God a damn, weird like, term. Damn. Yeah, I, like, I want to ask like, you. If you think about it, what threw me off so much about that is that Earth is basically our spaceship. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, if the more people that there are, the more supplies that are being used, mm -hmm. the more bullshit that we're like wasting, you know, like we're running out of shit in our own spaceship, you know? Mm, definitely. When you did shrooms, it's did you do problem. a heroic dose or did you just take enough that it changed your perspective? No, I tried taking about seven grams and it didn't really do much. I have a high tolerance. But uh, that that movie kind of reminds me of Dead Space. I don't know Wait, if you ever played Seven Dead Space. Grams. Yeah. No, that's that's about right. I took about an eighth, and I then I was like driving, and I'm like, wow, the leaves <laughs> are really beautiful. Why do I ever rush? This is how you should live your life. I'm yeah, never no, gonna rush again. Shrooms, I did it for like three days straight. Yeah, that's remember, that's a I little bit of a. Like, but man like yeah no scrub i walked outside like after like being on shrooms and playing siege and i actually relaxed and as soon as i walked outside yes. i started like just tearing up from how beautiful everything was yeah. i was like this is a drug you, like, someone a different has perspective to fucking... yeah i was life. like this is something that someone needs to try at least once in their life i've done it twice it just put me on a different perspective where i was just like you know what like there's more to this that i gotta appreciate that, that's yeah. why i always that's why whenever anyone asks like Calculator asked in my stream. Shout out Calculator. He asked me, you know, do you have any advice for me in life? And I wish I told him this. Life is too short. 
to not have fun. Like, if you're going to be serious all the time, like, my father's like that, and I can't stand him. He's an asshole. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I love that asshole, but, like, it's good to be like, cautious, though, and but just of course, yeah. of course. But like, life is just—it's so short that like people who are serious or they—they they take the media serious or they're freaking out. It's like the whole coronavirus thing. Yeah, you, life is too short. You're gonna die anyways. Accept the fact that death is inevitable. You will die mm -hmm. if you have coronavirus. Accept it. If you die, it's whatever. It is life. Shit happens. Everything. Yeah. Happens it's an extremely purpose. hard thing for um, mm -hmm. normal people, people to be able to accept it, though. I don't save my money. I, I save just enough so that if an emergency happens, I have the, a backup. But I spend it. I enjoy myself. I, yeah. I there's, take there's my girls things. to dinner and the movies, and we go Eventually, on trips. we are go there's, all going to die. Even, exactly, if we, even if we live to the point where we can live ine inevitably... Our galaxy, our galaxy will eventually. Our galaxy will... I mean, that's one of the most depressing shit that I know. It's reality, it's though, and a lot like of people don't think about that shit, and they worry about. Re reality is a lot like space. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice and peaceful, but it's also super unforgiving. Dude, yeah. space is smoke and mirrors, dude. It's not real. Like... Oh god, the Earth's flat. <laughs>